As the interest in the Argyle International Airport continues to grow, we at the IADC continue to welcome persons from all walks of life to the site. Recently, we welcomed the delegation of visiting Vincentians who live in the diaspora, and we also welcomed the group of visiting delegates who were in St. Vincent to attend an ECCB-organized conference. We begin first this evening with Jeffrey Cato, who welcomed the conference group and brought them up to date on the airport's construction. So what happens to the current airport today? That will be closed. Be closed. They're actually yeah. putting... They're okay. going to make it into a shopping centre. No, that whole area is, um, will be developed into an extension of Kingstown. Yeah. It will be a, a both a financial, uh -huh. uh, a mix, mixed development. Um, we have a Canadian firm that has done a master plan. It's being discussed mm -hmm. and also they're doing a traffic study to ensure that um, the flow of traffic into Kingston also the existing Kingston mm -hmm. is improved within the development plan. Mm -hmm. Our targeted date for completion would be in we're looking at April next year. April substantially completed. Then we will do some um, commissioning and testing and commissioning by the contractor and ourselves. And uh, so by July, we'll be ready to bring in the ECCA, which is the East Caribbean Civil Aviation Authority, okay. who is our regulatory body. So what will they do with the, the, in terms of they'll decommission the old airport and bring in the new? No, well, they, they will have to ensure, um, we'll have to get flight tests and they will be part of that. They will also, there are the aspect of security they have to check up. They, actually, um, they have to check all that we meet all the ICAO standards. They are subsidiary of ICAO, International Civil Aviation Authority, to ensure that um, we comply with all the regulations and standards of the ICAO. Because it's going to be that day you go live, that's going to be yeah. major. And, and we expect that the FAA, because it's a new airport, Okay. would request, they're not the regulatory body, they, but they will request of our regulatory body for an inspection of the runway. Because if aircraft, um, US aircraft are going to fly, <laughs> they want to insure for, for um, insurance purposes that they could grade, grade the airport, and classify the airport into class at the beginning of the year, we, we, were, we had a shortfall projection of 80 million US. We have now, our shortfall has gone down to 16 million. Are you serious? 16, uh, one six. From 80. 80. Right, we, 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 we got a confirmed um, loan from Alba, from Venezuela. Okay. Um, we got some land sales from the government in Canawan for 20 million US. Um, we got a loan from the Caribbean, Deve um, not Development Bank, Caribbean De um, Caricom Development Fund. Okay. And uh, we got a loan from Bank of Nova Scotia. And all these loans are very concessionary, is below 4%. Trinidad had indicated that they will look at assisting us with um, the bitumen for the asphalt mm. related thing and that is estimated some five five million um, is, is, yeah about five million is about about two million us mm. so that that is one area we're looking at and uh, we just, as a matter of fact, it should be reduced by another three million. We just got uh, uh, financing, uh, called business financing from Oshkosh, that are prepared through their own bankers to finance the the firefighting um, 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 equipment. It's about one million dollars each, so that's three million dollars. So what is left to be done on earthworks? is the removal of all those rocks. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have a little work to be done on this hill and this has to be moved. Okay. The right. only reason we have not moved it is because of our laboratory. We have a rock outcrop there that has to be moved and the work at the end. 
Following this presentation, the group was taken across to the terminal building for a closer look. Through the three arrival uh, doors, two of them will take you directly into the immigration. The arrival area is where you see those doors right here. That's the arrival area. And you those, and the yeah, yeah, on the bottom floor. Okay. So th those shorter um, doors, you may put it, is the where the package classroom goes in and outside. The trolleys will come down in um, between the wall and the columns and put it onto the conveyors there that will convey them inside of the company. This one here is um, domestic. So that conveyor that you see going in there would be for domestic. And uh, half of this is departure domestic and arrival domestic. Similarly, a group of incensions living in the diaspora made their way to the site to confirm and in some cases dispel some of the rumors they have been hearing. Over here, if you look straight across by the sheep, look across, you see like there's an open area. There, there are actually culverts there. We put some box culverts from right in here, back up to those, that forested area over there, and they go right down to the Waraku. It takes water from the hillsides straight down to the ocean so it keeps it off the runway okay and similarly in this second kilometer over here we are now constructing they are almost finished similar box culverts that would take water from this side off the runway and down to the ocean eventually so all that is part of the drainage system plus we have the Yambo river which we are to span that will take the water from the hillsides on that side and all the rivers that's coming down down to the ocean so the drainage system is being well looked after. The visiting diaspora nationals were also informed that the asphalt and concrete batching plants are being awaited. But in the meantime, the work continues in preparation for their arrival. The, the crushers doing its work, generating all the stones that we need for the time being. But once they come in, so that is really the setback. And you know the reason why they weren't here yet. In that we couldn't source them, we needed to have the money. Okay, so. That is always the, the, the major problem. So if we get a really good injection of funds right now, we could push this work like crazy and we could have it ready. But it's really the money that, that's holding it up. But um, we're hopeful and God is good, you know. We'll get there, right? So that's basically where we are in this area with the, um, with the thing. This is our soil testing lab here, this building. So all the material that we put on the, sorry, on the runway is tested before we put it there. You have to make sure the material is good before you put it there. And soon we're going to be expanding the lab to facilitate concrete as well as asphalt testing because you also have to test those before you use them. Make sure you have the best quality. So, and this lab was given to us by Venezuela, Chavez, and it's been managed by the Cubans. We also have Vincentians working there who are learning what the Cubans know so that when the Cubans go back we have skilled people who can do this work and we don't have to import them again. Right? And we are doing that throughout the project. We have engineers who, who have been trained in Cuba who have Vincentians and who are now working alongside the Cubans getting all the practice and all the extra knowledge that they need so that when these people go back they can maintain this airport themselves. They know the ins and outs and they know what to do. So our people being trained one time. As long as it takes, if it take another year, we can wait because we see what's happening. Yeah. And we're very proud of it. And All right. I think, I think my you. experience coming back this time because I haven't been to St. Vincent in 22 years. You know, but my experience coming back this time was more positive than it was the last time. <laughs> my daughter, this is her first time coming to St. Vincent, oh, my daughter. Welcome, my dear, welcome. Yeah. And she's going to visit already. Yeah. You love it? Yeah. Oh, Good. Wow. Wonderful. So once the airport is finished, uh -huh. then we'll come All back right. more often. It's just I don't like going to Barbados. Persons, including students from grade 3 and up, are welcome to have a guided tour of the site. 
Just give us a call at 458-0333. You can also check us out at www.svgiadc.com or on Facebook at Friends of the Argyle International Airport. If you want to make a contribution to the project, you can do so at the Bank of SVG, account number 200884.